This whole journey started about four years ago with a long pending dream that I had to record Schubert's music for violin and piano. I had had that drive for many years and I was very lucky to meet Taolin, an excellent pianist, which whom we undertook the recording of Schubert's words. Tomas and I formed our duo about four years ago and uh, we have been fortunate uh, to be able to make uh, several recordings and uh, even more fortunate to be able to garner some very, very fine uh, uh, reviews. Um, we have been really quite humbled by some of them. Uh, one of the reviewers actually compared favorably our recording of the music by Franz Schubert to the classic recordings made by Sergei Rahmanov and Fritz Kreisler, which is probably the highest honor uh, a performer can possibly receive. After this, Tao and I asked ourselves, what comes next? And we both agreed that it would be Mozart. When Mozart wrote his first 16 violin sonatas, he was a child, a great prodigy, the greatest prodigy who ever lived. And those pieces were published and widely known, but they were childhood pieces. They only used the violin to the minimum degree and were primarily keyboard pieces. But by the time he had reached 300 pieces in his backlog, Mozart effected a change in the way he wrote violin and piano sonatas. So these works are truly significant because the amount of variety of inspiration in these works, the mastery of form to be heard in every movement, the extraordinary textures between counterpoint and homophily. These are things that no one else had done in the classical style. We want to record four albums with Mozart's complete sonatas for violin and piano. This is a huge project and immense undertaking. And the reason we want to do this, uh, for several reasons, one is we do believe this is some of the most subtle, expressive and sophisticated music ever written. For another reason is they are interestingly somewhat neglected by performing musicians uh, as popular as they are. We believe that it's a very much worthwhile project to do, um, uh, both artistically uh, and in terms of uh, hopefully leaving a very nice legacy uh, in the history of recording. I love what I do. I respect these composers so much. I believe we have something to give, um, a musical voice. And while there's people out there being touched by what we do, by our concerts and our recordings, it gives us energy to continue this journey.